What's up YouTube? It's your boy Douglas Sam and today I'll be doing a quick little video on my Netgear Universal Wi-Fi Range Extender WN2000RPT. Okay. So uh this is what it looks like. Shut out the way. And sides are black, that's what the back looks like. Got the four Ethernet inputs there. And what you guys should know, this is a Wi-Fi extender. And um, I'll be hooking it up real quick just to show you guys. So let's go ahead and plug it in and get into it. All right, let me have a quick seat. And we'll get into it right away. All right, so we plugged it in. You see the yellow light. We're waiting for a green light. Um, <clears throat> and by the way, we'll be setting this up um, the regular way. Uh, I don't think my, I don't know what it's called, the WPS. I don't have that on my router. Um, yeah, I don't have the WPS, so we'll be just setting it up normal. Um, just with a regular Wi Fi using your ex existing Wi Fi network. Um, so there we go. We have the green light right there. All right, so that's all you need. So we plugged it in. We've got the green light. That's all we need. Now we need to just, you know, turn on our computer and we can navigate, we can actually configure it from this point on. So let's get to it. Okay. So that's my computer screen right there. All right. <clears throat> so you're going to wait about mm, maybe even five minutes three minutes we're going to look for Netgear EXT Let's see if I can zoom in so we can see that sorry guys yeah there it goes right there Netgear EXT well you're gonna so I'm looking in my Wi-Fi networks that's me of course so I'm gonna click into that and then I'm just gonna click connect and at this point, it's going to get you into the Netgear setup wizard. Well, it should, as you will see. No. See, it just automatically went there. Right? So, it's asking me to continue in English, so I hit continue. And so right now it should be asking me to put in my router, my existing router's <clears throat> um, password. That should be the next question uh, that it's going to ask me. No, I think it's going to it's going to ask me what network would I like to extend. Yeah, duh. <clears throat> After it does this, so it says the smart wizard is detecting. I'm sorry, not detecting. The smart wizard is detecting the wireless networks in your neighborhood. This typically this typically takes one minute. So, yeah, that's what it's doing. <clears throat> okay. So, it's at a hundred percent. So it's found all my net. I mean, all the networks in my area. So this is me right here. So I click continue. If I didn't see myself, I guess I could hit refresh down there. Um, but I'll hit continue. Now it's probably going to ask me for my password. All right. Okay. So right here, I can change the name if I wanted to, but I'll just leave it as that. You can change it to whatever you want. I could change it to Doug's party whatever okay oh it's just saying that I have a um, 54 BPS up to 54 oh it doesn't matter I'm just gonna hit okay that doesn't matter so we hit okay it's really it's really easy setup guys it really is <clears throat> so 
So it says the smart wizard is connecting the extender to the existing network and setting up security on the extender. This typically takes two minutes. So we're almost done. It's that easy. And so just long story short, once this, once the extender grabs my Wi-Fi signal, I can then use those four ports additional. So this box, this box will give you Wi-Fi, extended Wi-Fi to areas that you couldn't get it, like an attic or a basement, or maybe you live in a mansion, the other side of your house. Um, but in, in addition to that, it will give Ethernet, um, you know, uh, support up to four Ethernet uh, connections as well as Wi-Fi. So it's a it's definitely a win-win. Um, I got this device. I think I got it on eBay for forty dollars, something like that. Yeah. All right, just like that, we're almost done. It says the extender uh, network name has been changed to blah, blah, blah. Follow the instructions to complete setup. So I'm going to hit OK. And really, I don't really need to do that. I don't really need to follow that. It's, it's set up. So when, so say if I exit out of here, which I will, and I go to my networks now, you will see well when it refreshes there we go let me zoom in yeah sorry about that guys I'm not that camera savvy but as you can see right there that's not my network so if I plug it out and put it anywhere in my range it will be there I could have renamed it I didn't have to have it run the track I could have been like Doug is fat and that could have been my Wi-Fi router name um, so that's pretty cool. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. Um, I hope this helped. But anyway, that's, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to go ahead. Where's my pen? I'm going to reset this router. And because uh, I'm actually, I bought this for a friend of mine. He wanted to extend his range. And, um, you know, he's a little leery about watering online. So I got it for him. And, um, so I hope this, anyway, I hope this helps you. Um, if you have any questions, definitely comment below. If anything, thanks for looking. It's your boy, Douglas M. And once again, I am out.